score system in Unity. Create a text object by going to Canvas, then select UI Text Mesh Pro. Move the text to the top right corner. Simply use this window and select the top right corner. Type score 0 into the text field. Make sure to check the auto size of the text element. Now you should definitely add a C sharp script. Define a reference to the text object. Before doing that, this part of code is very important using Unity Engine.ui. It tells the script to load UI elements from the Unity scene. Can't add text to the element because text TMP is already added to the text object. You must remove the text mesh pro and add a regular text, because that will make Unity confused. Put the score 0 again into the text field and set best fit. Auto text in the regular text is called best fit. Let's go back to the script. Define a score variable, public float score count. But wait, we don't use float, especially not when the score is just an integer, which is a full number without decimals. Now tell the score text you defined in the first part of the script to load the string score, then the next part of the text score count. This is what happens. I can't load the variable because you need to come back to score manager and change the public float to public static int. In character movement, you should define a new score value. If other game object tag is equal to coin. That's the new tag that I will define later. And add the score manager line of code that I mentioned before. Now you should add a new tag, name it coin, as defined in the script. This tag will be used to detect if you touch an object which is called coin, and when you touch it, it should increase the score variable to 1. But make sure to first drag the score text to the script defined in the canvas. Now you can see that the player is collecting coins and it increases the score variable to 1 and every time from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. But I only have one problem, the score doesn't reset to 0. Let's go back to the script and fix it. This has to be done in the scene manager. After reloading the scene, the score should be 0. The find object of type is just for development purposes. It can locate any kind of script that you defined in your Unity project. Score manager score count is equal to 0 and it resets the entire score that you collected before. After adding the score system, this game is missing something. The high score. The high score can be defined easily, just by copying the UI text element defined in the first part of the video and renaming the score text to high score text and changing the text field to high score. This part of the script needs to be defined to make the high score element do something in the game. Public text high score text then the high score text has to be the same as the score text with only one little difference. If you collect more points than the high score, it has to be updated. If score count is greater than high score count, then the high score count would be equal to the score count that you already collected before. 
but that script doesn't load high score every time you decide to restart the game. You always get high score zero. A quick fix for that is to use player prefs. The player prefs are the element that keeps all the saved information from your Unity project. That can be high score, your player's health and many more things. If player prefs has key high score. High score count is equal to player prefs dot get int high score count. Player prefs set int high score. It sets the integer value of the key defined in the player prefs and that should fix the problem. When you try to reload the game, you can see that the high score is present as you defined it in your previous run, which is perfect. Now, it almost feels like a real game. And I wanted to say that this will be the last video for now in the series of 3D Platformer. I will try to bring more kinds of content on this channel. Stay tuned to the new videos of Cosmobot. Bye!